Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel. This is Cooking with Patricia. Today we are making seafood bowl. Alright, let's start cooking. All right, let's start cooking. We'll start with our shrimps. I already cleaned it up. They're all cleaned. And we have cream prawn. Then our sausages. You can use any kind of sausage you want. We have our crab legs. I slightly boil them for one minute. We have butter. We have onions. I'm going to use a lot of onions. And our ginger. We have red pepper. Our lemon. Then I have corn and potato we are going to use lots and lots of spices all right now we start with chopping our potatoes it depends how big they are you can cut it in half all right we are going to use two teaspoons of salt and then we add two teaspoons teaspoon of garlic garlic powder then two teaspoon of black pepper you can use white pepper if you you have one then two teaspoon of cajun then follow two teaspoon of cayenne pepper two teaspoon chili powdered chili and then three teaspoon of onion powder and basil two teaspoon basil thyme two teaspoon I told you guys we use lot of spices today and two and three teaspoon of paprika I'm using three teaspoon of paprika then you mix it together these are our spices now we chop our garlic I'm peeling my garlic now And onion. You remember I told you I'm going to use a lot of onion. I have five onions already. I'll just peel only one. I have already peeled others. Be careful with the knife. We're going to use our, the blender to chop all the onions in small pieces. If you don't have a blender, you can use a knife to try to chop it in small pieces, very small. All right, I add my, my ginger and blend it. is smooth like this not too smooth just crunchy just small pieces of onions and ginger together now it's red pepper by using it you are doing the same thing we did with the onions i'm going to chop it in small pieces add it into the blender
Now put your pan on high heat. Maybe five tablespoons of oil, lots of oil actually because I have lots of onions. Then when your oil is hot, add your onion mix from the blender. Try to fry them until they are soft. Try to fry until it's soft. When it's soft is done, add your butter. Mix it till the butter is melted. Then add your spices, all the mixture that we did earlier on. Mix it just for a few minutes. Three to four minutes, the spices will be done. Then you add your one cup of fish stock. One cup of fish stock. Mix it together. Just wait for two minutes. Then the sauce is done. Keep it aside, take a big pot, scoop some sauce from our onion sauce to the big pot. That's where we are going to boil our corn and potatoes just to bring out the flavor. Three scoops or four scoops depends how big is your sauce then add your potatoes add your corn I have frozen corn if you have fresh ones you can still use them then add lots of water to cover up all everything I'm taking I'm scooping out some sauce to use it later then you leave some in the pan make it half half the one remaining you take it back to the stove Add your sausages after 10 minutes of boiling the corn and potatoes. Then in your lemon, close. Warm your sauce. When it's starting to boil again, you add your prawns. Now add your seafood, your prawn green prawn then mix it until it's covered with the sauce
After two minutes, you add your mussels. We won't overcook it until they until one minute they will open the mussels will open up then add your crepe legs just boil it now for one minute they will be all done don't overcook it they become too rubbery so it's just too for one minute they will be fine they will be done they are open one minute is enough because I cooked many of them at the same time I'm trying to stay it up so others can be cooked under there then I add one more minute because I add so many at the same time And they are all done. All right. Then you take your bowl or anything, any plate, anything you have. Then we are scooping out our corn, sausages, and potatoes from the pot. Thank you guys i know you really really enjoyed this video please subscribe press that like button press the bell button so that you will be notified once we drop a video support your girl thank you thank you for your support thank you for your love that you are showing me all the time all right see you in the next video see how lovely it looks thank you